COVID-19, Personal Protective Equipment, A Guide for Hospital Clinical Staff, Coverall Version for Aerosol Generating Procedures or AGPs. This video is for healthcare workers involved in the assessment and care of individuals during sustained community transmission of COVID-19. It should be used with the guidance and quick guides you can view and download and print. See the link at the end of this video. Alternatively, go to the gov.uk forward slash coronavirus for the COVID-19 infection prevention and control guidance. Part 1. Putting on the personal protective equipment. Safe removal of PPE is explained in the second part of this video. It covers how to put on or don PPE correctly, how to remove or doff PPE correctly and safely. It includes the safe disposal of PPE to avoid cross-contamination to the healthcare worker and the environment. Safe systems of working. PPE is just one part of safe systems of working. Only clinical staff who are trained and competent in the use of this PPE should be allowed to enter the patient room where an AGP is being performed. Healthcare workers must be familiar with local operational arrangements for the safe care of patients with possible COVID-19. Hospitals need to identify areas for safe donning and doffing of PPE. Safe systems of working, including the correct use of PPE, will help protect you and others and limit the spread of infection. Keep your hands away from your face and the PPE being worn. Change your gloves regularly when torn or heavily contaminated. Limit surfaces touched in the patient environment. Perform hand hygiene regularly. Always clean your hands after removing your gloves. Pre-donning instructions. Ensure the healthcare worker is hydrated. Tie hair back. Remove jewellery. Check your PPE is in the correct size and available. Note, local teams need to undertake a risk assessment to clarify donning and doffing using the type of PPE available. There are alternative guides and videos for standard PPE and PPE for AGPs using a fluid repellent surgical gown. Visit the gov.uk infection prevention and control pages to see these in detail. The recommended PPE components for when an AGP is being performed are coverall, alcohol hand rub, gloves in the correct size, visor or goggles or eye protection, respirator or suitable respiratory protection, Aprons over the coverall may also be used for sessional use. Putting on personal protective equipment. The correct order for putting on is coverall, respirator, eye protection and then gloves. This is undertaken outside the patient's room. Step 1. Don or put on the coveralls. You may need to remove your shoes. Note, if the coveralls have elasticated ankle cuffs, you may wish to cut the elastic off to make donning and doffing easier. First, unfold the coverall and undo the central zip. You then need to insert both of your legs into the coveralls. Pull up over your waist. Insert arms into sleeves. If the thumb loops are available, then hoop these over your thumbs. Pull up over the shoulders. Tuck the hood into the back of your coverall. And then fasten the zip up to 5 cm below your neck. This is so that you do not accidentally touch your face when doffing the coverall later. If glasses are worn, remove them and do not put them back on until you have fitted your respirator. Glasses should be cleaned with an alcohol lens wipe. Now clean your hands with alcohol hand gel or rub. Step 2. Donning or putting on your respirator. This must be the respirator that you have been fit tested to use. Note, eye protection must always be worn with a respirator. Where goggles or safety spectacles are to be worn with the respirator, these must be worn during the fit test to ensure compatibility.
position the upper straps of the respirator on the crown of your head above the ears and the lower strap at the nape of the neck. Ensure that the respirator is flat against your cheeks. With both hands, mould the nose piece from the bridge of the nose, firmly pressing down both sides of the nose with your fingers until you have achieved a good facial fit. Perform a fit check. For a valved respirator, inhale sharply. For an unvalved respirator, exhale sharply to test. If air flows around the nose, adjust the nose piece. If air flows around the edges, readjust the headbands. If you cannot obtain a good fit, do not proceed to enter the patient area. The technique for fit checking will differ between different makes of respirator. Instructions for the correct technique are provided by manufacturers and should be followed for fit checking. Next, replace your glasses if worn, ensuring that they do not affect the fit of the respirator. Step 3. Don your eye protection. A visor is recommended. If not available, use goggles or a reusable eye protection. Safety goggles may also be used as shown earlier in the video. Place over your face and eyes and adjust the headband to fit so that the visor is vertical covering the sides of the eyes. For other forms of eye protection, ensure that they do not compromise the fit of the respirator. Optional step. Put on your apron if needed. An apron is only needed in addition to a coverall or fluid repellent surgical gown if you are doing sessional work. If you are not doing sessional work, continue to step 4. If you are doing sessional work such as a ward round and there is an AGP risk for the entire bay or hot zone, you must wear a fluid repellent surgical gown or coverall along with an apron worn over the top. The apron and gloves must be changed for each patient seen, but the same gown or coverall can be used for several patients. Now put on your apron, making sure that it is not twisted at the neck or the shoulders and it is securely tied at the back. Now clean your hands with alcohol hand gel or rub. Step 4. Put on your gloves. Make sure that these are the correct size for your hands. Ensure the gloves fully cover the cuffs. Once you are happy that all the steps have been completed correctly, you have now completed putting on your PPE and you are now ready to enter the patient area. You can doff your apron and gloves in between patients, perform hand hygiene and then apply a new apron and new gloves before seeing the next patient. After entering the patient area, remain vigilant of PPE integrity for yourself and any other staff members. Part 2. Doffing or taking off the personal protective equipment. If you have completed your session or single patient activity, you can doff your gloves and apron, clean your hands with alcohol, hand gel or rub, then don a new apron and pair of gloves ready for the new patient or session. If you have completed your session and you are taking a break, you can continue to doff the full ensemble. PPE should be removed in an order that minimises the potential for cross-contamination. So, remove your gloves first, then apron if needed, then gown or coverall, and then your eye protection, followed by your respirator. The FFP2 or FFP3 respirator must always be removed outside the patient's room, where possible in a dedicated isolation room with anteroom or at least two metres away from the patient area. In the absence of an anteroom or lobby, remove your FFP2 or 3 respirator in a safe area, e.g. outside the isolation room. Step 1. Remove your gloves. Do not touch the outside, as these may be contaminated. 
grasp the outside of the glove above the cuff and peel off holding the removed glove in the remaining gloved hand. Slide the fingers of the ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist and then peel the remaining glove over the first glove. Do not touch the outside as this will be contaminated. Discard as infectious clinical waste. Now clean your hands with alcohol hand gel or rub. Step 2. Remove your disposable apron if worn. Do not touch the outside as this may be contaminated. Unfasten or break the apron ties at the neck and let the apron fold down on itself. Break the ties at the waist and fold the apron in half and then gently roll up as shown. Do not touch the outside as this will be contaminated. Discard as infectious clinical waste. Now clean your hands with alcohol hand gel or rub. If you are going to start a new session, you can don another apron and fresh gloves. If not, follow to the end of this video to continue doffing or taking off your PPE. Step 3. Remove the coverall. This should be done from top to bottom. Tilt your head back and gently feel for the zip and with one hand pull the coveralls away from your body. With your other hand, run your hand up the zip until you reach the top and unzip the coveralls completely without touching any skin, clothes or uniform, following the guidance of your buddy if available. If not, a full length mirror is helpful. Roll the coverall from the waist down and from the inside of the coverall down to the legs, past the knees to the top of the shoes, taking care to only touch the inside of the coveralls. Pull arms out of the sleeves slowly until your hands are free. Use one shoe covered foot to pull off the coverall from the other leg and repeat for the second leg. Finally, step out and away from the coverall. Now clean your hands with alcohol hand gel or rub. Put on a clean pair of gloves. This is in case you have inadvertently touched the outside of the coveralls. Carefully gather up the coverall, touching only the insides of the coverall, and dispose of the coverall as infectious clinical waste. Step 4. Remove your eye protection. Do not touch the outside as this may be contaminated. Dispose of the fresh pair of gloves as infectious clinical waste. Now clean your hands with alcohol hand gel or rub. Use both hands to remove the visor or goggles. Grasp and hold the elastic headband with both hands. Stretch it out, lift and pull away from the face. Discard after use as infectious clinical waste. Step 5. Remove your respirator. Do not touch the front as it may be contaminated. In the absence of an anteroom or lobby, remove your FFP2 or 3 respirator in a safe area, e.g. outside the isolation room or patient area. Now clean your hands with alcohol hand gel or rub. Lean forward slightly. Reach to the back of the head with both hands to find the bottom restraining straps and bring them up to the top strap. Lift the straps over the top of the head. Let the respirator fall away from your face and discard as infectious clinical waste. Immediately wash your hands with soap and water. You have now completed the doffing or taking off of PPE for aerosol generating procedures for hospital clinical staff, coverall version. There is also a version which features the fluid repellent surgical gown.
PPE equipment and guidance may vary. See the Infection Prevention and Control Guidance Collection and bookmark www.gov.uk forward slash government forward slash collections forward slash coronavirus COVID-19 personal protective equipment PPE. With thanks to Guy's and St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust and special thanks to Cecilia and Yusuf. Public Health England, protecting and improving the nation's health.